So now I'll show you how to set up the fusion string and I think that the best way to work with the string is when you're standing up. So I'll give you instructions for that. If you do want to do it while you're sitting down, then you just vary the instructions to apply to a sitting position. What you want to do is you want to have the fusion string attached to the wall so that it is a little bit below eye level, probably nose level would be uh, essentially correct. Um, so there's a slight downward uh, direction to the string. And then you turn, you face the wall. And so you want to adjust your position so that there's a slight droop in the string as it goes from your nose to the wall. You want to make sure that you uh, are not tilting forward or craning your neck forward or pulling your neck back. Uh, you want to make sure that your posture is nice and relaxed and comfortable um, and so you may have to move forward a little bit or move back a little bit in order to find exactly the right position so that the string is in the right place and uh, that uh, your posture is relaxed and comfortable as you work with the fusion string. There are four variations that you can use with the fusion string to help you with astigmatism and they involve turning your head in different directions because each direction will exercise and stimulate your eyes and the muscles around your eyes in a different way. The first direction is to turn your head halfway to the right so that you're looking at the fusion string from that direction. You don't want to turn your head so far that your nose blocks out the vision from one eye. You still want to see the double image of the fusion string. Then you want to turn your head in that same amount but over into the left direction. And again, you'd want to make sure that the no your nose doesn't block out the image from one eye. And then you want to go in the next direction, which is to raise your head higher up and look down at the string. And the next direction, which is to lower your head and to look upward along the string. Now each one of those directions uh, will, as I said before, activate the muscles in a different way. Some people who have an astigmatism find that one of those four different positions uh, feels more stimulating or perhaps feels more difficult to do, and that's an indication that that's the area and that's the direction that you want your head to be in to work the fusion string from that direction. Now one of the things that I also do for increased comfort is I may take my free hand like this so I have something to rest my elbow on. And if at any time during working with the fusion string my hand gets tired, I can just quickly switch and use this hand to hold the string and this hand to hold my elbow.